in the summer of 2020, I made a video about the future of lithium ion batteries, specifically for e-bikes. And well, nothing much has happened since then really. Bosch introduced the 400 watt hours batteries in like 2014. And in 2015, bigger cells appeared. They were like 25% bigger. And uh, so it was looking good. 20, 25% increase in energy density. And we were sort of excited to see what would happen in the future years. But since 2016, nothing much has really happened. It's still the same 3500 milliamp hour cells that has been used for years now. But now there are more signs that things are changing. Sure, there are a lot of these articles about this or that future chemistry that will lead to a 30% or 50% increase and revolutionize battery technology. But we've read those articles since, well, 2016 and uh, not yet. But here is a battery that is actually being produced and the energy density is about 300 watt hours per kilo. That's 40 to 50 watt hours per kilo more than the current cells. The cells are being produced by Gaussian or Gaussian or whatever, and they're producing the cells for the Volkswagen factory. As I mentioned in my previous video, we were expecting the new cells to be high nickel or nickel rich cells. And this is just what these new cells are. A nickel rich lithium ion cell with an energy density of 302 watt hours per kilo. The article claims an increase in energy density of about 16%. And energy density, that means uh, basically the battery will have more capacity without uh, increasing the weight. So a 40 cell uh, 504 watt hours battery that has been with us for five years will now be 16% bigger and weigh the same. So let's take a look at uh, some of the current popular battery cell configurations to see what this increase means. I mentioned the 40 cell battery, a 36 volt battery at about 500 watt hours. This will increase to about 590 watt hours, which is quite decent. These days, the 620, 630 watt hours batteries are getting very common and very popular. These are batteries weighing about 3.5 to 3.7 kilos. And with a 16% increase, we get 735 watt hours. So about a hundred watt hours increase. The new Bosch 750 watt hours battery, that's a 60 cell battery, will deliver 880 watt hours uh, with a 16% increase. And the 700 watt hours batteries that are usually being built with the 21700 cells will increase from about 720 to 840. So this is looking really interesting. And if we look at the smaller batteries with the fewer cells, the 360 watt hours batteries that are being used in some of the lightweight MTBs today, like the specialized SL bikes and the Orbea Rice Carbon, that's a 20 cell battery using the 21700 cells. It will increase from 360 to 420 watt hours. But there are no guarantees we can use the smaller battery configurations because um, there is a tendency when increasing the energy stored in one cell, you also decrease the current capacity. That means how much power one cell is able to push continuously. So I of course don't know about these upcoming cells, but uh, there is a chance that a battery such as the current 540 watt hours battery that is being used by YT, and in the new Orbea Rice alloy, there is a chance that these cells won't be able to push enough current or enough power continuously, so they can't be used for today's bigger e-bike motors. But who knows, we'll see. And of course the question is, when will we see? And it's the same answer as in the previous video, who knows? But there has been some leaks from big e-bike e -bike players in the market, that this increase might happen in 2023. Now this uh, leak dates uh, back before the corona situation, so yeah, I'm not getting my hopes up until like 2024. But it can't be that long before something 
actually happens. And if it happens in 2024, that's like an eight or yeah, eight years since the last previous big leap in energy density. So it definitely is about time. And yeah, the reason I'm so excited about this is, of course, that uh, at some point we don't have to increase, keep increasing the battery size and the ba increasing the battery weight. I think when these newer cells hit the market, then it finally the time has come for the battery weight to go down.